some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a courtroom where a uh, sovereign citizen appears to think that uh, driving and religion are exactly the same somehow, but he fails to explain it in any coherent way whatsoever and completely falls flat on his face. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Mr. Boykin, you're Mr. Arthur Boykin Jr. charged with um, registering a limo or taxi violation. So did you uh, need an attorney to help you with that, or did you just want to hear from the state and see what their recommendation is? I, what I wanted, I wanted to represent myself in that case because I'm dealing with a civil right. Well, of course you'd want to represent yourself. What self-respecting softard wouldn't want to do that? But of course, you know what they say. A man who represents himself in a court of law has a fool for a client. And, well, softards are some of the biggest fools around. Went out. Went out. It's fine. It's, good. it's just fine. So you're good. You I'm can just, represent I'm yourself, actually, I'm sir. Actually, I'm actually exercising my constitutional rights under the First Amendment Free Exercise Clause. Okay. Um, Mr. Uh, Kotoroka, uh, what does the state recommend on that case? Yes, Your Honor. Um, I will get the recommendation very soon. I believe not guilty now. Okay. All right. So you want a trial? Yes. Okay. Did you want a trial before a judge or a trial before a judge and a jury? I guess when I'm dealing with a dealing with my rights for the freedom of worship, I want to deal with I deal, I guess I'll be better with a jury, I might understand. Yeah, this dude must be confused because well this is a traffic case and it has nothing to do with religion, or maybe we're just not following this guy because he's a total dumbass. Okay, freedom of worship, sir? This this is a taxi no. limousine case. No, actually, actually, this is this is an unprecedented situation that I'm dealing with right now because you're dealing with a, dealing with my. I'm gonna, let, me, let me just read something for you right quick. You, I can't hear you. You're turning away from the video. Just let me read something to you right quick. No, me, no, 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 sir. Just tell me because this case doesn't seem to involve religion that I'm aware of. It's just a taxi limo case. See, you're wrong. What I'm what I'm saying is that I'm separating myself from this government. Uh, yeah, trying to separate yourself from the government? Yeah, okay, whatever, dude. Uh, let me know how that works in the whatever fictional universe you live in. Because no matter what country you live in, the government is always going to be uh, with you somehow, some way. And even if you did manage to separate yourself from the government and find a community of like-minded individuals and come together and form a community and create laws and everything like that, rules governing your uh, little civilization to determine what's right and what's wrong, well, you still got a government there. I exercise my constitutional right of free, uh, the First Amendment, the civil rights of church and state, free exercise. See what I'm actually what I'm saying. What I'm saying, Your Honor, is that the I'm exercising my right. I got to rule down. I could be better explaining, but I got to rule down because it's somewhat complicated. No, it's not complicated, sir. I did four years of um, three years of law school and four years of undergrad. I I got it. You're you're on this fringe where people are telling you to say all these things and your case will get dismissed. It's really no, much simpler no, than that. that. I'm not on that. Um, no, it is really just you got a ticket for not having your taxi or limousine registered. Do you want to have a trial about that where the judge, where the state would have to prove that that is the case, uh, or do you want to hear what their recommendation is and you might be eligible for a no low plea? I want to. I'm actually, I'm actually, is this, this religious matter, ma'am? How is, is it religion? Were you driving the church bus? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. 
Listen, in other words, uh, Congress shall make no law respect. No, 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 sir. How is you driving the taxi or limousine a religious matter? If you wasn't driving the church bus, was you ferrying the Pope somewhere? Okay, what I'm doing, I'm separating myself. No, sir, that's not how this works. You misunderstand what that means. Okay. And I'm just be honest with you. Three years of law school. I'm sec I'm a second generation lawyer. My mama's a lawyer. My uncle's a lawyer. And I'm telling you, you are misunderstanding how that works. What I'm saying to you is you got a ticket for not having your taxi registered. It don't have nothing to do with religion or your free exercise of religion. I guess this soft hard's brain is just so filled with uh, lead paint chips that he doesn't understand the apples to oranges argument or the false equivalency fallacy, where you try to compare two different things and present them as if they are the exact same thing or something to that nature. And in this case, driving versus religion. Uh, yeah, the driving has little to no nothing to do with religion at all. I mean, uh, religion is a belief system while driving is a task that you take on to travel somewhere. I mean, apples to oranges, dude. Okay. Now, if you were driving the church bus, Step we out. might have an argument. Ma'am. Step out. Okay, ma'am. I'm, I'm trying to get a good understanding. Out. In other words, uh, the free exercise clause. No, ma no, sir. It's not the same thing. That's not what that was meant for. You get to exercise your religion however you want to do it, but that don't have nothing to do with you driving a taxi or a limousine. You have picked, you have picked up a copy of the Constitution and you're trying to make it fit what you think it fits. But it's that is not. They got people who've been doing this for thousands of years. That's not how that works. Okay, Mr. Simpleton, I don't think that she can break it down for you any further than she already has. I mean, this is essentially a simple argument right here. And, well, yeah, you pretty much have read the whole damn thing wrong. I just wonder, what grade did you graduate from? What's your highest level of education? Because, clearly... I doubt you even graduated ele elementary school. From my... No, no, from your understanding, but you don't clearly understand how it works. And I'm just going to be honest with you, okay? You either did drive a taxi without registering it or you didn't. That's all I'm looking for. I don't have, it doesn't have nothing to do with who you worship. Unless he's worshiping the taxi gods and praying for uh, high uh, tippers, I don't think this whole thing is going to work out for him in the long run because, well, his argument is incredibly short sighted and irritatingly stupid. Well, so, did you want a trial before me or a jury? I'm trying to think right now because it's it's really a religious matter, but you can't. It's see not, it. sir. It's really not, Miss John Vier, What's the record? I mean, Mister Kotoroka Yedon. What's the recommendation on this case? Yo, now it's going to be a two hundred dollar fine. Okay, the fine would be two hundred dollars. Is he no low eligible? Yes, Your Honor. You could enter a no contest plea saying that you're not guilty, but you don't contest it. Um, the fine would be $200. It'll be $298 with the surcharges. I would give you up to 60 days to pay it. Otherwise, we're going to trial on this. It's got to deal with it today. Well, I'm going to... Because you just can't pick up the Constitution and think you can practice law. I know I can't, Your Honor, but it's... But that's what you're trying to do, sir. This don't have nothing to do with religion, and the mere fact that you keep bringing up religion and the free expression of uh, and free association, that tells me you're very confused. So now, did you want to take a plea, a no-low plea, or did you want to go to trial? Well, what is a no-low plea? Tell me what a no-low plea It means that you don't contest it. You know the state has evidence that they could use in a trial against you, and you're not contesting that evidence, but you're also not entering a guilty plea. Okay, I go with that because I'm not entering a guilty plea. All right, raise your right hand for me. 
You solemnly swear or affirm any testimony you give in this matter will be true. Yes. All right, you can put your hand out. By entering a plea of no low to violation of the taxi limo regulation, um, you give up a right to have a trial by jury or judge. You give up the right to have the state prove your guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. You give up the right to have the presumption of innocence in your favor. You give up the right to confront witnesses, subpoena witnesses, present testimony and evidence on your behalf to not incriminate yourself or present any testimony or evidence against yourself. And Mr. Boykin, if you're not a United States citizen, a plea of guilty or no contest could negatively impact your immigration status. Did you understand all of those things? Yes, ma'am. All right. All right. Um, factual basis, please, Mr. Cook. Yes, Your Honor. Um, this incident occurred on 22nd, February 2021 um, on between the intersection of Highway 85 and um, Bedecida Road. Your Honor, the officer mm -hmm. observed defendant driving his vehicle, um, a, a limo vehicle without a special license plate on the taxi. Your Honor, the, um, the officer cited defendant for um, registration violation. That's the factual basis. Your Honor, the state recommendation will be on a $200 fine. All right. So, Mr. Boykin, I'll find you two hundred dollars. I'll give you sixty days in which to pay. If you wanted to pay it today, that's fine. With the surcharges, it's going to be closer to three hundred dollars. It'll be two hundred and ninety-eight. What I need you to do now, sir, is when you leave the courtroom, go down one floor to the second floor. At the second floor, when you come back through the double doors into the hallway, go to your left. You'll see the traffic court window. They'll give you your paperwork and they will explain everything about when you need to pay and how you need to pay. Okay. Okay, dear ma'am. Thank you. And I would recommend civics classes at the very least so you can find out when it is applicable to use the First Amendment in anything. I mean, uh, frauditors do it a lot better in uh, actual practice than you just tried it. I mean, at least. They have a little bit of understanding about it, but that little bit of understanding doesn't get them very far most of the time. You, on the other hand, seem to have totally failed any classes that you took on civics whatsoever, and I really think that you should go back to school. There's no shame in that. Just uh, sign up to a uh, course somewhere and... Well, take it and learn something, dude. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?